Hello my friends, wherever you are in the world. This is William Poloniak at wholehealthfound.com. This is going to be a video tutorial to show you how to improve web pages using hypertext markup language, otherwise known as HTML. I'm going to show you how to delete unwanted tables and how to move text on a web page. Here you see a web page that I've already built. But before I go with, ahead with the tutorial, I want to show you how to get a hold of me. If you go to my webpage, wholehealthfound.com, you will see a sign up form here where you can get on my uh, mailing list and receive uh, information from time to time. So let's go back to the web page that I want to show you how to improve. This yellow table in the middle I want to get rid of so that all this content moves up and is more visible. The first thing you do is go to File, Edit Page. Now you'll see this little border here which is an invisible table and in the center I have a table with a visible border as you can see here and I want to get rid of this table. Now. If you're like me, you know a little bit about HTML, but not a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this table down and put in a series of X's here. And under the table, I'm going to move it down and I'm going to put a series of Y. Now this is to enable me to find this table. If you go to View, HTML Source, there you will see all the code. Now, I don't know why there's a lot of dead space in some code, but there it is. Now, here you will see the X's, and below you will see the Y's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything between X and Y. And I'm going to delete it. I'm going to... Um, Let's see, cut it out of there. Let's go back to the normal edit view, and you'll see the table is gone, but the X's and Y's are still there. So what I'm going to do in the normal view is get rid of that, and I'm going to move all this information up. <coughs> However, I also don't want this text to be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out, I'm going to move this table up, and you'll see in here the information I want to keep. Below this, I'm going to insert the text that I just took out. So edit, paste, and there you have it. Now I'd like this text to be a little larger, so I go to Format, Size, Extra Large, and there it is. So. I've moved this all up where I want it to be, and this is the end of this tutorial. And I'm going to give another tutorial in my next video to show how to insert a, um, a video right here. But for now, this is enough for this tutorial, and if you like it, please tell a friend, and I will see you in the next tutorial.